Hey Pisces, welcome to Key Wisdom, Ruth here. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign reading for from Friday the 26th of March over the next couple of weeks. Um, it's a, a general reading, so whatever comes out, comes out. But this card, the first card that I pull is going to represent you over this time period. So that will probably dictate um, what the tone of the reading is. Um, I'm telling everyone, I'm urging everyone, this card's fallen out, so this is you. Um, I'm telling everyone, I'm urging everyone to watch your moon signs. Um, just, okay, Pisces, um, to watch your moon sign readings, uh, especially this month, because we've just had the equinox last weekend. We've just had um, the um, Pisces full moon, your full moon. And I think that that's kind of quite an emotional time for people so just watch your moon signs because that can give you an idea of what your intuition knows that your conscious mind might not okay so you this week seven of one so you're the this this i tell you what this is i can tell you right now what this is okay this is you holding on to the wisdom what you've learned because of this equinox just at the last uh, around the 20th of march you learned something you're holding on to that this week and that's going to really propel you forward let's look at the energies that are moving you forward what's foundational what's grounding you this week balance of six of pentacles reciprocity fairness okay security these are the energies that are driving you forward this week and um, this is where you're coming from this energy of the chariot i feel like this is imbalanced though i feel like there's been some imbalance for you um there's a clarifying that wants to come up with that one and then no, 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 no. is it this one or is it this one which one is it hold on a second this one uh this is where you're going to so you're going toward the eight of pentacles working hard diligence focus patience but again security okay in in the areas that you feel secure in this is where this is the card at the base of the reading this is the ten of swords and um, beneath that's the king of pentacles so we've got some nice energies coming out for you we will clarify all of these cards uh, as we go and at the end of the reason i'll give you a chakra and um, message uh and affirmation based on your you know what you should can help you what areas you can help to be focus on this week okay that was hard to get out so <laughs> quite at the base of the reading is the ten of swords let me just have a cup of a drink of my water with my lovely universe mug i know you love it i know you love it mm. is there anybody out there is there anybody out there it's the first time I've actually read that sentence. Is there anybody out there? Um, and maybe that's something that you're thinking about. Maybe that's something you have been thinking about. Maybe that's something, it's those sort of views and ideas and pessimisms that are coming to an end for you. You know, I feel like you have learned something about how you perceive yourself. That's what this represents to me. You have learned that a perception that you've held of yourself is not has actually caused you harm, has actually harmed you. It's like you thought, I need, I want to pick another card up for this. Yeah, that's what it is. This is the universe saying, yes, you're right. And it, it, and it's about how you feel about other people, i.e. other relationships with other people, friendships, um, coming together with other people, um, being emotionally open with other people. It's like you, you perceived that in a specific in a certain way and the way that you were perceiving that actually caused you a huge amount of discomfort harm anxiety and this is what you have learned in march like you have learned that 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 how you perceive you in relationships or you in friendships or you in connections maybe third party situations maybe instability in relationships i don't know excess excessive sexual partners i don't know whatever it is but it's like you're you realize that how you perceive yeah that was true for some of you it is sexual partners my ears started ringing um you are your perception is shifting in something you've learned through this equinox and through this Pisces full moon that that it's that actually you're hurting yourself and potentially you're hurting other people or you have been hurting other people because of how you perceive yourself in relationships, because of how you see your ability to to, to manage friendships or, or whatever it is. There's a huge amount of energy coming off. Ooh, wow. Huge amount of energy coming off this card. These are from the past, these two energies here. So we'll see what they are. I'm just going to put this to remind me that there was a huge amount of energy actually on those cards. Okay. Um, 
we have first of all this is you this week we'll clarify all these energies okay and um, this is you this week this is the seven of pentacles uh, excuse me seven of um wands and this is as i said this is you holding on to something this is you learning something and what you have learned helps to move you forward it's as if you recognize that it's like it's almost like you finally got it, you finally get it, you finally see it, you finally know it, you finally understand it, you finally, finally get it, Pisces. And it's like, I need to hold on to this, I need to know. So for me, one of the things that I posted, I posted last week or whatever, and I posted a thing that said, freedom equals truth equals love. Now that's true, that's understanding, right? And that's something that I hold on to. So like, it's like a precept, it's like, it's like recognising, it's like you learning something, like, for example, be compassionate toward myself and others and it's like this is you saying right this is what i know i've got to be compassionate to myself and to others like whatever else i do i've got to be compassionate and that means being honest and that means being truthful or whatever it's like this is the thing that's propelling you forward this week and there's been imbalance in the past there's been imbalance in the past there's, there's been healing in this area that's why it's reacting like that for me because it heal you know i'm a reiki master right so i i'm about healing there's been some healing going on in the past in what you feel and in what you want and, and I feel like this has been what's reconciled for you. I feel like you, you're starting to understand that maybe what you're holding on to is recognising that what I feel and what I want actually is important and actually does matter. Because if I go against that, if I'm not balanced, if I'm not truthful, you know, if, if I feel something but I do something else, then I'm not going to be propelled forward. It's like that's healing. I feel like there's going, to, there's going to be healing in that area this week for you guys, okay? Or over the next couple of weeks for you guys. This is the energy that's propelling you forward this week and it's security it's appreciation with number six it's beauty it's recognition it's recognizing what is needed recognizing what is needed for your security that's why i feel this is for you this week it's recognizing what is needed to make me feel secure that's why i feel this is for you this week i feel like there's a there's a there's um there's been some avoidance though for you pisces you've been avoiding facing up to things you've been avoiding facing up to the realities of something of certain things in your life of you, you know maybe of, of the level of your anxiety or the level of your overthinking or whatever it's like it's like you're finally sort of facing up to um something and, and this is the energy that's propelling you forward this week it's like recognizing what is giving you security recognizing what will provide you with 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 balance recognizing what will provide you with you know being able to give more to others for example it's that type of energy for you guys we'll kind of clarify all these okay so don't worry this card is very reactive for me um my hands are still really really warm i wish you could <laughs> there was like a temperature check um, but it does happen sometimes when i always feel like it's healing i've explained these cards i've explained the chariot chariot's number seven number seven happens to be my master number so my master number i speak quickly but that's just how i speak but I feel like it's, in this instance, it's coming through because there's been things that you've been rushing through. You've been overlooking details. You've been overlooking yourself, really. And I feel like sometimes on a work, we don't do it on purpose. Sometimes we ignore things, but we don't do it on purpose. We, we, we don't realise that we need to see. We don't realise that that's important. We don't realise. And it's like your, this is your recent past where you're coming from. This is, I feel like, is this month. Wow. A lot of energy for you guys going on this month. It's not been a pleasant month, March. But there's some balance coming in. Now, this could be for, for the for the husband card. Now, isn't it interesting? When you see two cards next to side by side, you see the similarities of these energies. Arms up and arms down. So alchemically, when we are, you know, praying or spelling or what <laughs> spelling. <laughs> you know what I mean by that? um we are open this is this is these are gestures of openness to receive i'm open to receive from the universe i'm open to receive from the universe i'm open i'm doing this with my hands you can't see i'm open to receive from the universe that's what this is i'm open i'm listening to wisdom from, from the universe that's what this that's what the hierophant does i'm open to receive from the universe even though i've got these institutions i've got these structures i've got these people telling me i've got the world telling me i've got society telling me what i should be who i should be what i should say what i should do i'm listening to the universe that's what this card represents you can live your truth or somebody else's okay the wisdom the cross keys of wisdom okay of knowledge i'm open to listen to the universe this is look the hands down look at the different symbols here 
you can can you see you know the actual hand gestures are, are important alchemically are important for the work that we do the left and the right you know the left indicates the the divine feminine the intuitive self the right indicates the world indicates the divine masculine indicates what's 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 uh, manifest you know so these different symbols and symbolisms uh, that we see them when we see them close up here you know uh these are representative of the world and of society these two this is your yin and yang okay so this is your consciousness and what's manifest because of your consciousness your consciousness and what's created because of your consciousness what i'm doing and why i'm doing it that's this these two cards so when we see these energies together it's all those uh, you know speaking quickly and speaking fast but it, it, it's like this is what your head has been like in a way pisces it's like there's been a lot of information coming through a lot of learning for you coming through you know, we've got five and seven. Five and seven is 12, right? Five and seven is 12. 12 is one and two. One and two is new beginnings and commitments to new beginnings, but understanding and expansion. It's number three. It's expansion. So I feel like you're expanding. Your mind has been expanding. Your, and I'm speaking, your consciousness has been expanding. These are important things that you're learning. These are important, important stuff that you're coming into awareness about. You're coming into important awareness and, and it has been a time of increasing your awareness of recognizing your relationship to society or relationship to how you perceive yourself because of society because of what tell because of what society tells you you should be etc etc um i feel like I'm, I'm holding this now i want to hold this this um this is also linked to number three this is a i can't i, I want to say uh, sorry this is linked to number two this is the i feel i want it's linked to your sacral chakra we're going to do it. I'm going to do a chakra reading at the end, but I feel like I need to. I call this chakra the torture chamber <laughs> because, you know, when I was working on that chakra, meditating on that chakra, I understood that that's where I stored, I held onto the pain, I held onto the traumas, I held onto the, the sadness. I, we hold it in this space, in this second chakra. Um, it's related anyway i won't go i'm doing the chakra reading at the end but i feel like there's been a lot of that you've been torturing yourself or you've been tortured by this relationship by expectation and reality by what you think and what you do by what the universe tells you to do or what the world tells you to do or what you should do because you're a man or what you should do because you're a woman or what you should do because you're black or what you should do because you're white it's like you've been told it's like it's like there's been a a a, 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 a way you've woken up to the truth of yourself you've woken up you, you've been listening to the to to yourself as opposed to what everyone else says or as opposed to what your expectations tell you or or what society tells you it's like you're you're starting to listen and that's what's actually moving you forward that's kind of what you've learned this is what you're learning okay your perceptions were a certain way because of the experiences that you've had and you can change those expectations you can change those perceptions this is what you're holding on to you can move differently you can live differently you can create different experiences if you do that okay finally well for now i'm going to clarify um you've got the ace of pentacles so this is where you go into ward this is about working on what you found within that's what this represents pentacles energy is the seeds that are planted okay so pentacles energy is what is in your destiny what is in your dna you know what your what's written on your soul almost if you will it's like who you were at the moment of conception um you know when the sperm met the egg this is who you were that's what the pentacles reveal to us and we've got to uncover we've got to dig and we've got to find out who that is who we are what's written on us what's written within us we've got to find out we've got to we go in our we live our lives to find that out and it's like you found something you found a part of yourself and that's what you're working toward enhancing. That's what you're working toward securing. That's what you're working toward manifesting into this world, bringing that part out of yourself. And it's been, again, more pentacles here. You know, this is you, again, tendency, 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 tether, 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 number five, obstacles, 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 things that need to change. You have been putting energy into saying to yourself i don't and i can't and it'll never work out and it'll never happen and it, i'm always going to be feeling this way i'm always going to be bereft this is at the base of the reading yeah look i'm always going to be bereft i'm always going to be i'm always going to i'm never going to feel happy i'm never going to feel secure you know no matter what i do it's never going to work out you know there's a there's an energy of of 
you've got to i feel like you're coming into the awareness that you think this way i feel like this is what this represents I feel like you're coming into the awareness of you thinking this way and putting your energy into those type of thoughts and into those type of thought processes i feel like you're you're learning about who you are i feel like you're learning about what you do and how you think and, and work, you know you really fight yourself you really fight your intuition you, you know you really fight what you feel i mean you know there's as many realities as there are people breathing that's that's how many realities there are in this world and so you can live in your reality or you can live in somebody else's reality you've got to choose and that's what this is like it's like you know your reality might seem cold right now. Your reality might seem like chaotic right now, as in today when you're watching this, not in next week or not next month. Like, it might feel chaotic. It might feel like, oh my God, I can't live in this head. I can't be in this body. But it's like, you're just fighting yourself. You're fighting the awareness. Like the awareness, is like, the universe is like bringing this awareness in and saying, right, well, the equinox is here, so it's time to learn. Every month, the full moon the full moon comes every month and the new moon comes every month and you should be learning something every month, just like everybody else, just like I do, just like everybody else should be learning something. And people just be like, oh no, I've got to go to work. I've got to do this. It's end, month end. I've got to do my tax return, whatever it is. And it's like, mate, like, you're not like, <laughs> it's like, mate, it's 2021, right? But you have been a person and we people have been people for thousands and thousands, hundreds, millions of years not millions but is it millions yeah anyway um millions no anyway whatever i can't remember off the top of my head but um it's millions in it is it millions <laughs> it's like how long anyway whatever when were the homo sapien you know when were the neanderthals anyway whatever um is that a million years ago anyway i'm digressing i'm, I'm sorry i get <laughs> But there's been people then, and they still have the same thing. They still have the same problems that we we have, right? They still be like, you know, can I trust this person? You know, can I trust my judgment about this person? Can I trust my judgment about this land? You know, can I ju trust my judgment about this? You know, oh, this is nice. Oh, I desire this. Oh, I like this. Oh, this makes me feel comfortable. Oh, that makes me feel uncomfortable. That's the same stuff that people have been feeling since the first people could feel. That's the same stuff people have been thinking. You're thinking the same stuff now that people were thinking back then. We all do. That's what we all do. We're all the same. You might live on Mars. You're going to still think the same. You're, oh, should I trust this? Do I like this? Should I go that way? Should I do that? Who are you going to listen to? Who are you? You're asking these questions. <laughs> Who are you expecting to tell the answer? I mean, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, this is what you're doing. And the universe is actually trying to give you the answers. The universe is like, well, just listen. Like, what's inside? Well, what do you feel? Go in that direction. What do you What do you know? Go in that direction. What do you want? Go in that direction. What do you desire? Go in that direction. And you're like going, no, oh, I don't know, universe. Thank you, Tiny. Tiny's here. So then, you know when Tiny comes, it's like, oh, gosh, he wants to get up now. Oh, God. Come on, then. If Tiny comes, you know you've got to pay attention. Right? Tell him, Tiny. Tell him. Should Pisces pay attention? Well, he's told you, haven't you? You've told him, haven't you? All right, Tiny. Good boy. Tiny, thank you for your input. So, <laughs> you just stay in there. <laughs> okay. Get down then. Okay, good boy. You get down. You sit on me. Okay. So, it's like, who are you asking? Who are you gonna, who's going to give you the answers? You think Twitter's going to tell you? You think you think the news is going to tell you? You think the newspaper's going to tell you? Listen, love. You've got to live. You can choose whatever reality you live in. But I think you should choose your reality and not somebody else's worldview. I think you should choose your reality. Yes, you might you might have to you might have a mortgage to pay or you might have a whatever. I don't know what your life is. You know your life, but if you're miserable and not happy and unbalanced and anxious, you're learning the things that are gonna give you balance. You're learning the things that are gonna help you to feel secure. And you can reject them or you can go toward them. That's what this is. That's what this reading's telling you. You can reject those things that are gonna give you security or you can move toward them. That's your choice. You know, I feel like you're gonna I feel like you're gonna to move toward these things. See, this is fear. You know, it's it's fear for you. Remember, this is the energy that's moving you forward this week. It's fear. You know, this this is this is trauma. These are old traumas. I want to hang on a second. I'm talking, but I want to clarify that as well. What's beneath the surface? Again, this card wants to be at the base of the reading. Again, 
but this is the thing that's that, that's troubling you it's you know you you see the thing that's going to give you balance you know the thing that you need to do you know the the learning that you've come into and yet excuse me you feel afraid these are all traumas this is you know the last time you you went toward that thing and it didn't work out and then your mum and dad broke up and then you felt or felt this and then you felt ill and then you had no money but at least what you're recognizing is that you feel fear you feel afraid you feel traumatized and yeah i'm still going to do it this is the thing that's going to give me security like no matter how many times i think around this subject the thing that makes me feel secure and balanced is this is doing this music or is doing this artwork or is doing this you know, is, is being with this person or is whatever it is for you, you know, or is living in this country or is living here or is doing this or whatever is working for myself or, you know, this is the thing that makes you feel secure. So are you going to do that thing that makes you feel secure? Are you going to do that thing that makes you feel happy? Are you going to do that thing? Or are you going to, are you going to hold on to that thing? Or are you going to ignore it? Are you going to do something else? I mean, I feel like you're going to fight it because that's what you, that's what you naturally do, but you're going to work on it. You're going to work on bringing this thing to fruition. You're going to work on manifesting it. That's what I feel. Okay. You've got this moon energy underneath again. So again, this is, this is what I mean. This is where it's come from. It's come from that Pisces moon. It's come from the equinox. It's like this learning, this wisdom, this understanding, this clarity, this new information that you now have and that you hold on to, i.e., I've got to be honest with myself. For example, that might be what you're holding on to. I've got to be honest with myself. So even when there's all this confusion and craziness going on, I've got to be honest with myself. Because what you're being honest about is bringing you into balance. That's what it's being honest about. So this, so your mind is changing. Your perception is changing. That comes from within. It was meant to come from within. It was meant to be challenging. It was meant to be hard. I know it's been difficult, but... It's good for you. Okay, let's just look at finally outcomes. Outcomes, outcomes, outcomes. Outcomes, outcomes, outcomes for you. We've got three cards for you. We've got the tower. So we're making that change. Tower, cooperation, magician, new, new influx of new energy with the eight of pentacles, eight of wands, which is the new bottom of the deck. So we've got change coming through. Change coming through. So this is the what what's good about this energy uh, with, with these you're making the change happen you're working in conjunction with the universe to bring about this change but not also are you working in conjunction with the universe to bring about this change changes that are necessary to, to help you to feel balanced and secure maybe financially maybe emotionally but in your world in your life things are going to be you want to feel secure in your life you want to feel secure in your mind in your body in your spirit in your soul you want to feel secure this energy you're bringing about this change you're bringing about this change with the universe it's like but but it shows that by holding on to this one by saying okay i need to tell myself the truth or i need to be compassionate to myself or whatever your truth is whatever you discovered through this through the through the first two weeks of, of march uh, the first three weeks of march whatever you've discovered that is propelling you toward your security you've been working with the universe to bring this through and the universe is breaking down the walls the old walls the old beliefs the old the old things you know what society tells me versus what i feel what the world tells me I should be because I'm a man versus what I feel versus what I want versus what I desire. So, for example, if we lived in the, and thank God we don't, eh? if we lived in the 40s in this country and you were gay, for example, and you would be put in prison, like you can't be gay, you're not allowed, it's legal, right? But you, you're gay. If that's what, if you, you know... If that's who you are, that's who you are. Nowadays, you can be that person, right? Whereas then you couldn't be. And it's like, it's like that, it's that, 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 it's like that type of truth. I'm not saying that you're gay. I'm just saying like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's that type of truth. It's like you are, it's like you going in the 60s, no, or in the 50s, or whatever, like, no, I'm gay. I'm gay. So whatever's going to be, it's going to be. That That's what it's like. Not that you're doing that, but I'm saying it's like that. It's like, I'm just going to, I can't, I'm not going to lie. I can't tell, I have to just tell the truth about what I want. This is what makes me feel secure. This is what my life needs to be you bring about change you work with the universe to bring about that change and not only do you work with the universe this is you've got one pentacle the universe has got one pentacle and this is like everyone else around you the world around you the people around you the people you live with your friends etc it's like actually this is what is needed they can see your friends your family the people around you know that this change was needed know that this truth was needed know that these the, the, these foundations needed to be needed to be broken down and to rebuild now in a more secure way in a more better way and your your environment the people around you are going to be working with you to help to bring through this change for you whatever that change is going to be so it's an influx of new energy and it's something to be celebrated remember we're ending this energy of this anxiety and we're moving toward this this three of cups anyway you know we've got this influx of new energy coming in and you moving 
moving forward, okay? I'm really excited for you. Okay, my lovely Pisces, let's quickly just do you a quick... I feel like I've given you a shocking reading already. Ah, I feel it's blue. I feel it is. Yeah. It's these energies up here. It's this one. Oh, is it above or the green? Yeah, it's this one. It's your communication chakra, your...